Hi, this one's for Jennifer, who is asking what width of cord, or in her case leather, she would need to use to make a knot of a certain size. Well, I was struggling a little bit with this one until John Allwine gave me the answer, yet again. Let me create a Turk's Head with nine parts and four bytes. I've chosen a strand width of 0 0.2 inches and a strand gap size of 0 inches so the knot will look tight when we see the diagram come up. I'll click on column coding, scroll down and there's my knot. And if I look there the size in inches is 1.133 three inches or point three six zero eight in diameter and it'll be one point four seven four four inches long. Okay what happens then if I increase the strand width size? Make it not point four. I'll click column coding again and scroll down and I noticed that those numbers haven't changed. Now thanks John for showing me the answer to this. A lot of people will probably know by now if they've used the Advanced Grid Maker that if you grab, grab the bottom corner of this diagram and pull it out you can change the size of your knot. I don't really want to do that. I want to keep my 9 part 4 byte Turk's head but I notice here they the numbers haven't changed, what I need to do is just give it basically a bit of a nudge. You see that? Those numbers have now changed. I need to make sure that I do keep the Turk's head that I originally wanted. And there it is, nine parts and four bytes. And to make extra sure, ten rows, eight columns. OK, that's a bit fiddly, but if you do want to work out not only how much cord you need, because you'll know how much if you come down here, it tells you what strand length you will need to make that knot. But if you want to experiment with width, by all means try different widths up here in strand width, but come down to the diagram, every time you change those numbers just give this bottom right hand corner a little tweak but at the same time ensuring that these numbers for rows, columns, parts and bytes remain the same. I hope that's helped a little bit. Yes it is a bit fiddly but uh, it's all about experimentation anyway isn't it? Thanks for watching.